Well, what we have here today is one of these Enlight Corporation power supplies, an EC power supply. You see? Here's all of its ratings. Though it's obviously a much older power supply. See the few connections. So it came from my older system. Not even a 12 volt header for our motherboard. Just a 20 pin connection. And you can see a dusty old fan. The plug in, not even a switch. This thing does not feel very light. Just a very heavy. I mean, it's not the lightest power supply I've picked up, but still pretty light. And it actually started smoking when I tried to turn it on, so something's horribly wrong in here. Well, let's go ahead and go inside and see the quality that is not there. Well, let's see. First off, we have our main input. Got our power supply on its side. So you can see we do have a selector switch. We have some Y class capacitors across the main plug. It's nice little ferret. You can see we have some inductors. Inductor. X cap inductor, some Y caps. Green thing back there, the MOV. Then you have a four dial treatment. You can see we have these two big capacitors. Don't think there's exactly a brand on them. Oh no, there is. I don't want you to see them. Nippon Kimikon. And thereby, I think something like 200 Farad each. That's pretty pitiful. You can see we do have some proper protection in there. You can see the main switcher chip. Eight pin device transformers. They're not all that big, but they're not too small either. That's your five volt transformer. This is your 12 volt transformer. But, oh man, I have never seen coil so cooked before. But look at this. Look at that. These coils are completely toast. This is the inductor for the 12 volt. And 5 volts, I think. 3.3 volt inductor. And standby 5 volt inductor, maybe. Look. Look how dark in those wires have gotten. I mean, some immense heat. Seems I've been driving a really big load. None of the capacitors are bulging, though. Mm, they're P capacitors. Odd name. Well, they're 105 degree C rated. See that fan there? It's just a genuine fan. But, wow. Mm -hmm. And look at this green inductor right next to it. It is just as charred. It is charred black. It's just bad. This thing must have been under some immense strain to be so charred on the inside. I don't see anything else charred. Not a lot of big capacitors over there, but it's enough, I guess. Look at these bodges over here. Bodge resistor. Another bodge resistor right here. No, I don't think the metal's touching. This is some of the worst burning from power supply I've seen in a long time. This is definitely going to be parted out. This is this horrendous. I'll give Light, Co Light Corporation the positives of having a Pi filter and decent capacitors. But that is unacceptable. That right there is just unacceptable. Look at that. It's burnt black. It's completely unacceptable. Mm. 
This is why you don't want to buy underrated power supplies for your computer. If it's a say, what was this thing's output rated? Blech. There's a 230 watt max power supply, which means it's probably actually supplied more something like 200 watts constant and 230 max. I would say more like 150 conscious and 230 max. If you're gonna build or buy, build a computer, now you don't wanna put a low wattage power supply in there. Minimum I'd go if it's about 500 watts, depending on what's in there, of course. If you're just running a super simple setup, it's low power APU, a simple CD or on a hard drive, 300 watts is bare minimum what I'd go with. Because this is the kind of stuff that will happen if you pull too much, if you put a really heavy load on these lower end power supplies, it just gets toasty. Mmm, cigarette dust. Delicious. Oh, there's a fuse. At least they fused it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and be careful with what power supplies you buy for your computers.